is my name and I have diabetes. Sometimes life's a bit different for me. Got lots of things to learn, but I'm here with my besties. Together we're on top of this, you'll see. Diabetes Besties! How to inject insulin with a pen. My mornings? My mornings are like most of my friends' mornings, really. Except for... Rise, Betty! Destiny calls you to an amazing, truly spectacular adventure with your longtime loyal companion... Finished soon. Penny the Pen! Ta-da! How are you doing today, Betty? I feel great, Penny. Are you ready for your insulin shot? Ready if you are. My body doesn't make insulin, so I need to inject it. Let's go! Easy now, little one. Depending on which insulin you use, you may need to wait up to 20 to 30 minutes before eating. So before you take your insulin, think about your eating schedule. Okay, now I'm ready. Here are the steps for injecting insulin. Step 1. Make sure you're clean. First, I wash my hands with soap. If my skin is dirty where I will inject, I clean it with soap and water or wipe with alcohol. Step 2. Get what you need. Then I get everything I need ready before I start. I always check the pen label to make sure the pen contains the type of insulin I need. Step 3. Prepare the injection. There are a lot of different types of insulin. If you use the cloudy type of insulin like I do, you must remember to mix it well before injection. I mix the insulin by gently rolling the pen back and forth 10 times between my hands. After that, I gently move the pen up and down 10 times as well. This will ensure that the insulin is uniformly white and cloudy. No more, Betty. You're making me dizzy. Now, I'll attach a new needle to the pen. It's important to make sure there is no air in the pen, so I tap the glass gently with my finger a few times. Then, I dial the dose selector to two units and push the air out. I check that the dose is set at zero and then dial the dose I've agreed with my doctor. Step 4. Inject insulin. This part may seem scary, but it really isn't. The size of the needle is very short and thin, so it will not be very painful. It's pretty easy to inject the insulin. I just insert the needle into my skin, not too close to the belly button, and press the push button all the way in. After the injection, I slowly count to six before taking the needle out again. Great job, Betty! The injection doesn't need to be in the belly. It can also be in the arm, the buttocks, or the upper leg. Remember, you can always ask your doctor or parents for advice if you're in doubt about how to use me. Step 5. Clean up. After the injection, I remove the needle and put it into a jar, and then return the jar to the clinic once it is full. Then, I take the pen cap and put it back on the pen. Aw, oh, thanks for treating me carefully, Betty. Thanks for your help, Penny. You're a real pal. Pen pal. <laughs> Good one, Betty. Now, I just need to put the pen in a clean place at room temperature until my next injection. Or I can bring it with me, since it's so small and portable. All that is left to do is wait until I can eat. It may sound complicated, but it's actually really easy once you've done it a few times. Betty, how do you know how much insulin to take? 